afternoon everybody it's brother mickey right here you know i'm sitting out and enjoying the afternoon it's a beautiful day god created a beautiful day here in the woods anybody who knows me knows this is where i love to be um you know wanted to just bring a little message today that the lord put on my heart for you guys you know you got you youngins are out there and i'm sure you're fighting this just as much as us old old fogies do and uh, Anyway, I wanted to just bring this to you the way the Lord put it on my heart. So let's all go to Mark chapter 4. We're going to be going from verses 35 to verses 41. And it says, At the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was full now. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one unto another, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas obey him? Now, like I said, right now, the world kind of seems like it's in a tumultuous place. And if you guys don't know what tumultuous place means, it just means right now, the world seems like it's going crazy. Seems like at this point in time, the world's kind of mad. You know, everybody's scared of the coronavirus. I just wanted to bring unto you what the Lord put unto me. And it's this, you know, the coronavirus is out there. It's got everybody running crazy. I mean, you go to Walmart, you go to any store right now, the shelves are empty. You can't buy toilet paper, can't buy napkins, things that we took for granted that you could go to the store and buy any time right now we ain't got but that's okay because it's just stuff for one but i wanted to put it in out there for you guys you know we serve an awesome god right here in this passage of scripture you see here they're in the in the ship and there comes a great storm and you know they're all scared so they go to jesus and they say you know you know, come on, Lord, uh, they've seen him do miracles. Lord, we're about to perish, and you're asleep. Well, he had no reason to fear, for one. And he asked them, why are you so fearful? So he gets up, and he, tell, you know, he tells the wind and sea, peace, be still, and it calms down. And, you know, you see them, and they're like, hey, what manner of man is this that the wind and the sea obey you? Well, he's Jesus. He's the Son of God. In this time of trial we got going on with the coronavirus, we don't have to be fearful. You know, as long as we have Jesus in our heart and he's our Savior, we don't have to have no fear. We know a man upstairs who can take care of the coronavirus with just one touch of his little finger. Something that seems so large and so vast and major to us ain't nothing to God you know like I said I know for all of us it is a time of fear but you don't have to be fearful but I mean it is a time of fear even me sometimes I look at it as fearfulness because I have asthma I'm one of them people that can kind of be susceptible to this but I don't fear it I'm not worried about it because I know I serve a God who's big enough to take care of me and ultimately if I get it and I was to pass away I'm going to be in a ten times better place than what I am now. It's actually even better than ten times. But we don't have nothing to worry about. We are serving a God who is much bigger than this situation of the world. So I just wanted to give you guys a you know, a quick heads up, a thumbs up, that you don't have nothing to worry about. You know, as long as we have God, we've got everything. And if you all need anybody to talk to, you know how to get a hold of us. If you don't know our phone numbers, get us a you know direct message direct message us on Facebook. We're just a phone call away, anytime, day or night. Thank you guys. Bye.